Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here for Serpent X Special Forces. And if you pay attention to the vendors you're buying these B550 motherboards, uh, some of them are being updated, so you'll be able to use the Zen 3 or 5000 series processors. Uh, just keep your eyes on the retail pages and, and make sure that it's you know Zen 3 ready or uh, Ryzen 5000 series ready, and you should be good. I'm gonna be showing you, uh, if not, first I wanna see if it actually accepts the Ryzen 5600X and then if not we're going to be updating the BIOS and then I will show you how to do that. It's very simple and you got to have an older generation CPU. If you do not have one you can use the AMD program to you know they'll ship one out to you in order to flash your motherboard. Hey so good news everybody. It actually booted up. We're getting the right postcodes and everything. So even though I bought this motherboard in October prior to the Ryzen 5000 series, we are able to boot up and it actually came, there's a sticker on the motherboard that I saw it was P1.10, which is a GSA version um, 1100. And you wanna be on a GSA version either 1080 or higher. So this may not be the best version for performance wise, but it does allow us to boot. So now we just need to update the BIOS to the best version, which we can do from ASRock's main website and go from there. But if this did not happen, you want to check out the loaner program from AMD, which I have links in the description below. They will send you a CPU in which you can flash your motherboard and then send the CPU back. I have a backup that I can use if that was the case. But for you, you may have to reach out to AMD Alternatively, you can reach out to the manufacturer or the vendor retailer who sent you the motherboard to get them to flash the motherboard for you. Check the link in the description below to help you out. However, if this was an inconvenient situation where I had to do it, that's why I have the cooler here, just chilling, no fans on it or anything, easily accessible to where I can disconnect the CPU cooler take out the 5000 series CPU, plug in a new one, update the BIOS by installing it onto a USB drive, such as the one back here, and flash it. However, if you have any questions or concerns, and you're unable to boot to your new AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPU, feel free to hit me up in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching, hit the like button on the way out, and subscribe for more content. Take care, guys.